Hi there! In this video, we'll be showing you how you can create a recurring booking in your Hallmaster account in an easy to follow step by step process. Let's get started. Now that you've watched how to set up a single booking, we'd like to show you how to set up a recurring booking, such as for regular events like a class or fixture. If you've not yet watched the video detailing how you can set up a single booking, click the link in the description box to watch this one first, as there are parts you will need to know first before starting a recurring booking. Now to create a recurring booking, click Bookings on the left, then click on the Create a New Booking button. Continue through the booking process as in the previous video, selecting the rooms or facilities you require and creating an event name that will appear in the public calendar. Add the start date, the end date, and the time for the first event in the series. This is known as the parent booking. Next you will see the recurring booking option. Tick this box. This will then open a new panel for entering the series details. At this point, you'll need to set the recurring frequency to match the pattern you want the bookings to be in. The frequency that you choose at this point will then be used to automatically calculate all these dates within the series. For example, if you select a weekly recurrence, this will occur weekly for your customer. You will then need to choose which day or days of the week this booking falls on. Next, you'll need to state how many dates you would like to add to this series. We suggest you do your recurring bookings in manageable blocks, such as quarterly or yearly at a time. These are called the child bookings. Once you've completed this step, the booking form will automatically have all these dates filled in. Don't worry if there are any changes you need to make, you can still do these manually at any point. Once this has been done, you'll see this green button here, Check Availability. If there are no clashes, the dates will show in green, or if there is a clash, the dates will appear in red. If this is the case, you can use the I symbol to see what it clashes with. You can also use the red dustbin to quickly remove any dates that are not required, such as term time or school holiday dates. Please note, if there are any clashes you will not be able to complete the booking until this is rectified. The next part of the process is exactly the same as when you create a single booking. Go through and enter the customer name, any line items, special requirements, or notes to the booking as you've done before. Once you are happy with the recurring booking you've created, either click save or save and send booking email. And it's as easy as that. You've successfully set up your recurring booking. Thanks for watching this video on how to set up a recurring booking. Click here to see another useful video. Or click here to subscribe to our Hallmaster YouTube account, where we'll be uploading more videos on how you can get the most out of your Hallmaster account. Thanks for watching.